All right, today we're going to figure out if that protein you're drinking is actually crap because it might not be your fault that you're bulging out of that medium husky shirt. So let's get after it. Now, this might be common knowledge for most people that watch this channel. You could quickly spin around a jug of protein and tell whether or not it's a good formula or they're using graphics and colors to hide the fact that they're selling you five pounds of powdered dog food. But that's not everybody, because when I counted to three and guessed that half you buy your protein from Costco, a lot of people commented and said, why is that a bad thing? So we have to go deeper. Also, I realized that if you've been watching this channel for a while, you know that I used to work with one of these supplement companies and I stopped, but I never told you why. I probably should tell you why. Now, the product was great. The company was good. It was none of that. I can only categorize it as cognitive dissonance, which is inconsistent beliefs. My least favorite thing is to scroll through Instagram and see some guy sitting there with whatever product he represents and some sort of caption underneath that says, this is the only product I take because you know that's bullshit. That's not how we take supplements. If it's a pre-workout, we find one that makes it feel like the hair on our ears is growing 10 times faster than it should until that starts to wear off. And then we switch to a different brand with a different formula. And then we feel that in our plums for a while until that goes away and then we switch back. Protein powders are a little bit different. You find a flavor you like that you think you can drink forever until one day you wake up, take a sip and throw up in your mouth because your body's like, that's enough. So you go on the hunt for a couple different flavors and you try everything except vanilla because Fuck vanilla. And that's where the cognitive dissonance came from because I'm not loyal to a brand. I'm loyal to that tingly feeling. And if you stop giving it to me, you can fuck off. And if your protein powder starts tasting like shit because I'm used to it, I'm gonna use a different one. And you should too. So let's go over exactly what you should look for in your protein powder. All right, let's start with the basics. Now, one gram of protein is roughly four calories. And most companies try to make their scoop out to be about 25 grams of protein. So that means the cleanest possible scoop of protein should be right around 100 calories. But before you run out to your supplement shop and try to find a protein powder that's only 100 calories per scoop, don't do that. That's a rookie mistake. You're gonna end up with an unflavored protein and unflavored protein is not lacking in flavor. It has one, it's asshole. You gotta give these companies a little bit of wiggle room to fit in their sweetener profile. Otherwise, every time you move, you have to have that conversation with your wife about why you're not throwing away that unflavored protein that tastes like shit and you're never gonna drink it, but fuck you, I'm not throwing it away. Now to the most important part, the actual ingredients, what that protein is made of. And just like any nutrition label, that first ingredient is critical because that's predominantly what it's made of. With protein, you're gonna see one of three things, whey concentrate, whey isolate, and whey hydrosolate. Vegan proteins are gonna either be a blend, an isolate, or fermented. And what it comes down to is, quality and filtration. You have your Costco tier, which is concentrates, and, and you have your isolates and hydrosolates, which people argue which one's more effective. They're both fine. These ones, not so much. Now, they usually justify it by putting in a blend and saying it's gonna release slower, but why? Why not just get a better quality protein and slow down the absorption with fat? Now, that doesn't mean these are perfect. You still have to flip them around and make sure they didn't add a bunch of extra calories for taste, but at least you're starting with more of a pure filtered protein instead of just adding more crap to what is already crap. Same thing applies to vegan protein. Find an isolate, and if it tears up your stomach, find one that's fermented. And just like always, if you haven't checked out one of the 30-day programs, I'll leave a link below. Again, 30 days, 20 videos, 20 bucks. Pretty damn simple, and if you haven't watched these yet, I watch those, but most importantly, subscribe hit that notification bell and get after it, get growing. Talk to you soon. I got nothing else to do today. I'm gonna go hide these around town like Easter eggs.